What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute Pilates workout with a small stability ball. If we've not met before, my name's Margaret. I'm a certified Pilates instructor and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into things. We'll start by coming down into a comfortable seated position. You can sit cross-legged, you can put your legs out in front of you, just wherever you feel comfortable, stable, supported. I want you to take a big roll of the shoulders, open up through the chest, let your shoulder blades slide down your back, open up through your chest, and then reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. From right here, we'll take a big inhale, filling the body up with air, letting the shoulders float up towards the ears. We'll exhale out, let all of that air go. Good, let's do three more like that. Nice big inhale. And we'll exhale out, let it go. Good, this is gonna be two, big inhale. And we'll exhale, let it go. Perfect, this will be our last one, big inhale. Excuse me, and then we'll exhale, let it all go. Perfect, okay. From right here, just take your ball with you. We're gonna bring the legs so they go out in front of us. We'll bend at the knees, take your feet so they're about hips distance apart, and then bring your hands right to your hamstrings, just behind the legs. Open out through the elbows a little bit. So slight bend at the elbows. I want you to take a big, take a big inhale, sit up tall. On your exhale, I want you to round down through your spine. So pull the shoulder blades apart, tuck the chin to the chest, Find this deep C curve or this deep spinal flexion, mostly in like your mid back and low back. Inhale down at the bottom and then exhale, roll everything right back up, sit up nice and tall. Let's do that three more times, big inhale. And then exhale, tuck chin to chest, round through the spine. Think about pulling those shoulder blades apart. Good, inhale and then exhale, take it right back up. Good, two more like that, round it down. Sit up nice and tall. We'll go for one more rounding down. And then we'll sit up nice and tall. Good, from right here, extend the legs so they go all the way out in front of you. Flex your feet. Feet are about mat's distance apart. We're gonna reach the arms so they go out into a T. I'm a little bit close to my wall here. Arms out into a T, palms flip forward. I want you to inhale, rotate your upper body over towards the right. Take that left hand, reach towards the outside of the right foot. Good, big exhale to squeeze into the right side, derotate through center, and then inhale to take it over towards the left. Reaching that right hand to the outside of the left foot, We'll exhale, bring it back up. We're just gonna do two more on each side. I always love saw to warm things up. If you can't tell, I'm cold. <laughs> if it's not obvious, me working out in a sweatshirt. Last one on the right, we'll open, and then last one over towards the left. Beautiful, once you get there, we'll derotate, take things all the way back up through center. We're gonna grab onto that ball. We'll bend at the knees, take those feet out in front of you. The ball is going to come um, just behind your low back, a little bit higher than your sacrum. You're gonna find a C curve in your spine and then rest down onto your ball. Okay, it's okay if it rolls around a little bit to start. You'll find that spot that's comfortable for you. Now from here, we're drawing the belly button in. We're in that deep C curve, okay? All we're gonna do right here is take the hands so they come together right in front of our chest. Your hands are reaching right through the legs. We'll take an inhale just to twist over towards the right. Hands are gonna sweep out towards that right leg. Exhale, we're gonna derotate, take it through center. Inhale, we're gonna twist over towards the left. Exhale, we squeeze back up to center. And we'll keep going like this. This is the same kind of thing I would make you do without the ball. Now my ball's kind of rolling around because of my sweatshirt. So let's readjust. <laughs> Good, just twist to the right, center, twist to the left, center. Let's do four more on each side, four and four. We'll go for three and three. This is gonna be two, two, Last one, we'll take it over towards the right, hold it right there. Upper body's rotated to the right. We're gonna take that right leg. I want you to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Your knee comes right up above that hip. Shin is parallel to the ceiling. Good. We'll do four more like this. Four, good. Three, two, 
Last one, I want you to lift your right leg, hold it right there. You're gonna give me tiny pulses in the upper body, reaching one inch forward, one inch back. We're doing 10 total, so that's nine. We'll go eight. This is seven. You have six, five, four, three, two, last one. Right foot comes down. You're gonna take a big exhale, twist through center, and then inhale, bring it over towards the left. Hold the upper body still, take that left leg, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, lift and lower. Let's do four more. We'll go for three, this is two, and last one, hold it right there. We're pulsing in the upper body, one inch forward, one inch back, that's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, left foot comes down. We're gonna twist up through center. I want you to roll all the way up. Grab onto your ball for just a second. You're gonna round through the upper back, rounding over your legs. Give me a big, big, deep inhale. We'll exhale out, let it go. Good, and then we're gonna come right back down into that C curve. So just reset your ball. If you wanna take it a little bit lower, maybe get deeper into your core go ahead and go for it, okay? Hands are just gonna reach out by your sides. All we're gonna do here is lift the right leg up, lower, we'll lift the left leg up and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, good. We're holding on to this deep flexion in our spine, constantly thinking about pulling the belly button in, pulling the hips to the ribs. Good, take a second, check in with the rest of your body. Do you feel like you're pressing down evenly into both of your hips. Hopefully that answer is yes. Good, we're gonna add on a little bit more right here. Hands are gonna reach behind the head. As we lift the right leg up, we're gonna twist the left hand to the outside of the right leg. We come through center. Same thing over towards the left. We're gonna do this four more times on each side. Four, this is three, Woo. three. We'll go for two, two, Last one and one. And then we're gonna come all the way up, grab onto that ball, and then again, just round over your legs. Give me that big deep inhale. And then exhale out, let it all go. Beautiful, okay, whoop, <laughs> don't lose your ball. From right here, we're gonna come up into a tabletop position. Just take your ball with you. Um, I actually want you to bring your ball so it's right behind the left knee, and then we're gonna set up in our tabletop. Hands are gonna come down, we're gonna drop down onto the right forearm, left hand comes down onto the mat. You're gonna squeeze onto your ball like crazy, pulling the heel into the glute, and then just give me an inhale to lift that left leg up. Inhale to take it right back down, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. We just keep going like that. Flex your foot like you're trying to stamp your footprint onto the ceiling. Good. And then with the rest of the body, we're trying to press up and away from the mat. Good, so we've got pressure in the forearm, pressure in the hand, but we're not dumping all of our upper body weight down um, into the mat. Good, let's do three more, three. We'll go for two. This is our last one you're gonna hold up there. Flex your foot a little bit harder. Now squeeze the heel into the glute. Squeeze in and in, in and in. We're doing 20, 15, good. This is 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we take that left knee down, keep holding onto the ball, keep flexing your foot. You're gonna open your knee out towards the side, take it right back in, fire hydrant. Open, close, good, open and close. If this feels a little bit too wristy for you on that left side, spread those fingertips a little bit wider. Press down into not only your fingertips, but also the knuckles and the heel of the hand. Look, give me four more, four, We'll go for three, this is two. Last one, open and hold. You're gonna pulse one inch up, take it one inch in. Up and in, we'll go up 
and in. Good. We're going for 10 more. This is nine. We'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, left knee comes all the way down. Grab onto that ball. You're gonna pop it right in between the inner thighs. Okay, hands are gonna come down to the mat, spread the fingertips out nice and wide, and then tuck your toes under, pop up into that high plank. We're squeezing onto the ball. It's gonna force you to tuck your tailbone under. And then when you're ready, you start to walk your hands back into your feet, anchor the heels down, little bend into the knees. You're gonna roll yourself all the way up. That's gonna be the last thing to lift. Once you get up to stand, it's an inhale to circle the arms around and up. It's an exhale to dive down towards your mat, still squeezing onto that ball. Hands come down. You'll walk yourself out to plank. Good. We take a big inhale, exhale out, let it go. And then start to walk your hands back into your feet. Anchor the heels down, roll yourself all the way up, nice and slow. Once you get to the top, it's an inhale to circle the arms around and up. It's an exhale to dive down toward your mat. Hands come down, walk yourself out to plank. We're doing that one more time. Big inhale, exhale out, let it go and then start to walk the hands back into the feet. Anchor the heels down, roll yourself all the way up. Stand up nice and tall, head lifts. One more time, we inhale, circle the arms around and up. Exhale, dive down towards the mat. Hands come down, we walk ourselves out to plank. Find that plank, you'll hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, drop the knees down. You can press your hips back. Take a big deep breath, big inhale. Exhale out, let it go. Good. Okay, from right here, we're gonna pop back up into our tabletop position. So I'm gonna flip around so you guys can still see on that other side, but you guys can, you can stay right where you're at if that's a little bit more comfortable. Um, when you're ready to go, we're gonna take the ball so it comes right behind the right knee. Bring your hands down to the mat and then drop the left forearm down to your mat. Right hand is going to stay down. Now from right here, we're flexing the foot. We're squeezing onto that ball. You're gonna lift up, pressing the foot up towards the ceiling. Inhale, take it right back down. Lift up and lower down. Good. It's just like you're trying to stamp your footprint onto the ceiling. So you're driving up using the power of your heel, actively squeezing the heel to the glute so you feel a little bit of work happening in the hamstrings. Lift up, pull down. Good. All right. We're going for four more. Four. Good. For three. For two, last one, you're gonna lift up, hold it right there. Now we're gonna take 20 tiny pulses in, in and in, in and in, good. Whoo, I stopped counting, I think this is 15. Good, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take that right knee down, keep squeezing onto the ball, keep flexing the foot, give me a big exhale, open that right knee out to the side of the room, inhale, take it right back in. Exhale, open out, inhale, bring it home. Good, now check in with the rest of your body. Do you feel like you're still maintaining a neutral spine? Do you feel like you're putting a whole lot of pressure in the upper body? If you do, can you reset? Can you press up and away from your mat so you're light in that right hand, light in the left forearm? Give me four more, four. Good, we'll go for three, for two. Last one, open, hold. You're pulsing one inch up, one inch down. Up and down, up and down. We'll go for 10 more, 10. This is nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, take that right leg all the way down, grab onto your ball. We're gonna lay ourselves all the way down onto the mat, belly down. Okay, and we're gonna use the ball to do an assisted back extension or assisted swan. Okay, so the ball's gonna come right about to, uh, I would say the top edge of your mat. 
Okay, arms are gonna rest onto the top of the ball. Your hands are gonna be off of the ball. Feet back behind you, pressing the tops of your feet down into your mat. Uh, forehead is gonna look down, gaze is gonna look down. We'll take a big exhale. You're gonna roll the ball towards you, pressing into your hands, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze. And then we inhale, let things go, rolling that ball forward. We'll keep going like that. This should hopefully feel nice. Dare I say it, this should feel like a nice stretch. Anytime we get an assist in back extension, it's like, oh, it is my bread and butter. Good, let's do four more just like this. We'll go four. This will be three. Good, we'll go for two. Good, and then last one. Perfect, good, good, good. Okay, from right here, we're just gonna take the ball. You'll bring it right in between your inner thighs. I want you to squeeze onto the ball with your legs. Forehead drops all the way down to the mat. I wanna make sure you can still hear me through the mic. Okay, forehead drops down, so rest your forehead down. You're gonna exhale, squeeze onto that ball, lift the legs. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, bring it down. Good. Whoo, tiny movement. I just want you to focus on squeezing the ball through the inner thighs. Not so much about how high we can lift the legs off of the mat. Just give me four more like this. Four. Whoo, for three. This is two. Last one, lift and hold. Squeeze it right there. Flex the feet, pulse the ball in and in. Good, for 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Everything comes down, drop the legs down, grab on to that ball. Good, from right here, you can just put the ball off to the side for a second. We're gonna press ourselves all the way up and back into a child's pose. Hips go to the heels, arms reach long. Give me a big inhale. Exhale out, let it go. Beautiful. And then from right here, we'll pull ourselves forward again. The ball is going to pop right in between your inner thighs. Hands come down to the mat. We've been here before. Tuck your toes under, pop up to plank. Maybe walk your feet back if you need to. Well, exhale, start to walk the hands back into the feet. Anchor the heels down. Roll yourself all the way up, nice and slow. Head's gonna be the last thing to lift. Once you get up there, it's a big inhale. Circle the arms around and up. Exhale to dive down towards your mat. Hands come down. We walk ourselves out to plank. Good, big inhale. Exhale out, let it go. And then start to walk the hands back into the feet. Anchor the heels down, roll yourself all the way up, nice and slow, lift your head at last. Big inhale up at the top, circle the arms. Exhale to dive down towards your mat, reaching your hands down. Hands will walk out to plank. You take a big inhale. Exhale out, let it go. We'll go for one more, walking the hands back into the feet. Rolling ourselves all the way up to stand. Good, crown of the head lifts. And then one more time, we inhale, circle those arms around and up. We'll exhale to dive down towards the mat. Hands drop down. We'll walk all the way out to plank. And then right here, we'll hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and walk yourself all the way back into your feet. Roll yourself all the way up to stand. And then once you get up to stand, we're gonna stay there. So grab onto that ball, make your way right to the center of your mat. Let me adjust my leggings. From here, we're gonna get uh, into a little bit of standing work. I want you to just take the ball right in between the heels of your hands. Bring your feet so they're about hips distance apart. Press down into your heels, tuck the tailbone under. You'll give me an inhale to sit down and back into your squat, push the ball forward. Exhale, push into the heels, squeeze that ball back into your chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good, and we'll just keep going like this. Press forward, stand it up. Good, we'll go for four more. This is three. We'll go for two. Last one, sit it low, hold it right there. Press into the heels, tuck the tailbone under. Give me 20 tiny presses into that ball. 18, 17, good. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze onto that ball, hold the tension, press down into your heels. It's a little pulse up, a little pull down. We're doing 20. Good, because you can. Perfect. Whoo! All right, 15. I know it's gonna feel like it lasts forever, but you can do it. We'll go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Stand all the way up, take that ball with you. I'm gonna flip to the side so you guys can just kind of see what's going on. Left foot's going to step forward, right foot's going to step back. Your feet are about hips distance apart. We're gonna bend into our left knee. Keep the right leg nice and long and then take your ball into your left hand. From right here, we're gonna inhale, bend down into that lunge, pass the ball underneath your left leg. You're gonna exhale, press down into your heel, straighten out the left leg, pass the ball up overhead. Okay, and I know I get cut out of frame right there, but you guys, <laughs> You'll figure it out, okay? So we inhale, bend the knee, hinge forward, take the ball underneath the left leg, and then exhale, extend the leg, reach that ball up overhead. Good, we're gonna do about four more like this. This is three. We'll go two. And then last one. Good, from here I want you to come back down into that lunge, hinge it forward. All we're gonna do is pass the ball underneath the left leg, holding nice and low in that 90 degree bend, pressing down into the left heel. Good, perfect, give me four more right here. Four, three, two, Last one, ball comes in between both hands. Shoot that ball forward, push down into the left heel. It's a little pulse up, a little pull down. We'll do 10 total. This is eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, go ahead and press all the way up. We're just gonna step the right foot forward. Same thing on the other side. So we'll just reset, right foot goes forward, left foot's gonna step back. Again, feet are about hips distance apart. We're just gonna swap that ball over into the right hand. Try your best to get a 90 degree bend into your right knee. And then when you're ready, it's an inhale to hinge forward, bend a little bit deeper into the right leg, pass the ball underneath, and then reach that ball up overhead as you press down into the right heel, straightening out through your front leg. Reach it down and then reach it up overhead. Good. Whoo! And we just keep moving, we just keep breathing. Every time that you come down, you're finding that same 90 degree bend at the knee. Good. Every inhale, see if you can find a little bit more length. Not only length in the spine, but also length in your legs. Let's go for four more. Three, see now I'm warm. I didn't need a sweatshirt. This is gonna be two. Good, and then last one. After that last one, we take the ball back over into the right hand, hold it low in your right leg, just pass under, pull it up to the chest, pass it under. Pull it through. You're pressing heavy into your right heel so you can feel your right glute and hamstring turning on underneath you. Good, good news is we're pretty much right there to our cool down, just a little bit more to go after this. Okay, so keep sticking with me. Keep moving with me. Good, we're going for four more. Four, we'll go three. This is two. And last one, take the ball between both hands, reach it out in front of you, push down into your right heel. It's a little pulse up, little pull down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
Last one, go ahead and step that left foot in, pull the ball in. One more thing to do right here, we're heading back into our squat, taking the ball this time right in between the inner thighs. Feet are gonna be about hips distance apart, okay? All 10 toes point forward to me. Press down into your heels, you're just gonna inhale, bend the knees, lower down. Exhale, press into the heels, squeeze onto that ball, stand everything right back up. Lower and lift, lower and lift, good. Perfect, we're keeping tension on the ball. So right away you'll feel engagement into your inner thigh, which is good. That's what I want, that's the goal. Every time you stand up, you drive your heels down into the mat. Good, okay, we're doing four more right here. We'll go for four. This is three. We have two. Last one, take it low, hold it right there. Tuck the tailbone under, pulling hips to ribs. We're gonna do 20 squeezes onto the ball. We'll go 20, 19, I won't count them all, but I'll count them in here. 15, good. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, give that ball a big squeeze. See if you can sit a little bit lower into your squat, push down into the heels. We're pulsing one inch up, coming one inch back down, up and down. We're doing 10 more. This is nine. We'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, go ahead and stand all the way up. Grab onto that ball, toss it off to the side. You are done with it. I'm like nervous it's gonna hit one of my lights or the camera. From right here, walk your feet out so that they're wider than your hips. Nice wide second. All 10 toes are gonna stay pointed forward. Give me a big inhale, a little bend at the knees, circle the arms around and up. We'll exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold, reaching down for your mat. From right here, we'll keep the left hand down on the mat, bend into your left knee, reach that right arm up, fingertips up to the ceiling. Whoo, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. We'll take the right hand down, same thing on the other side, bending into the right knee, straightening out through that left leg. Big inhale to reach the left arm up, fingertips to the ceiling. Whoo, nice big inhale. And then we'll exhale, let it go. Take that left hand down, straightening out through that right knee. We'll take our next inhale to bend at the knees, come down into a nice deep squat. We'll exhale, press into the heels, press the hips up, find a forward fold. Let's do two more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Good, one more. We'll inhale, bend. And then exhale, press. Once you find that final forward fold, we're exhaling to tuck the chin to the chest. We'll roll ourselves all the way up to stand. And then once you get up there, left hand comes to the hip. We'll inhale to reach that right arm up overhead, shifting the hips over towards the right, reaching that right hand to the left side of the room. Take an inhale. And then we'll exhale, rotate the shoulders down towards the mat, reach that right arm out nice and long. Flat back, big inhale. We'll exhale, forward fold over the left leg. Both hands can reach down to your mat. You give me that big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good, we're gonna walk both of our hands through center. Inhale, exhale, and then take both of your hands over towards your right. You inhale, you get the deal. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna inhale to reach the left arm out towards the left corner of the room, nice flat back. We'll exhale, pull up to center, finding that nice big side body stretch, reaching the left hand over towards the right side of the room, opening up into that left side rib cage. Good, exhale, come up to center. We'll take that same thing in the opposite direction. So right hand to the hip, left arm up overhead, nice big side body stretch. Inhale, exhale, flatten out through your back, square the shoulders off to your mat, reach that left arm out nice and long, and then fold over your right leg when you're ready. Both hands can walk down. Nice deep breath. When you're ready, hands walk to center. You give me an inhale and exhale. We walk both of our hands over towards the left. Inhale, exhale, and then we start to come on up. We'll take the right hand, reaching it out towards that um, left corner of the mat. Flat back, shoulders are squared off to your mat. Inhale, exhale, open up, side body stretch. 
and then exhale, take it all the way back up to center. Good. Once you get there, take a little bend in the knees, take a big roll of the shoulders back, opening up into your chest, reaching the crown of the head up. We'll do that same thing the other way, rolling the shoulders forward. Let's do that one more time each direction, rolling the shoulders back. Whew, and then rolling them forward. Good, and then once you're ready, big inhale, circle those arms around and up. One more forward fold, just for good measure. Take it down to the mat, hands come down, big inhale. And then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, roll yourself all the way back up to stand. Once you get up to stand, you guys made it all the way to the end. Good work today. Remember, you're awesome, you can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just get